In 2017, the first known interstellar object to enter our solar system was discovered from an observatory in Hawaii. The object was the Oumuamua asteroid. Scientists don't know what it's made of, and some suggest that it's not even an asteroid, but an extraterrestrial technological object sent to our system for observational purposes. So, why can't anyone figure out exactly what it is? The fact of the matter is, Oumuamua was only discovered when it was on its way out of the solar system. It was detected at a distance of 33 million kilometers from the Earth. So, we have no idea who and what or when visits are made to our solar system. This is despite the fact that scientists have recently reported that there are now 29 known exoplanets in our galaxy from which it's possible to observe the Earth and even intercept our radio transmissions. So, how do we know if aliens are watching us? Should we set off a big warning klaxon for the entire planet? And if it comes to that, how can we prevent an alien invasion? Can we be watched from the solar system? Astrophysicist Avi Loeb thinks that the Oumuamua asteroid is quite possibly an alien spacecraft. Does that sound crazy to you? Don't jump to any conclusions yet. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take a picture of the asteroid, but the changes in its brightness indicate that it's shaped something like a giant cigar. And do you know what else has a similar light curve? Any other object that's brighter on one side and fainter on the other. For example, the Parker Solar Probe designed by NASA. Furthermore, scientists can't explain Oumuamua's trajectory. According to their calculations, before entering the solar system, it was actually standing still, as if waiting for something. That's exceedingly strange for an asteroid that should have moved through interstellar space at high velocity. Moreover, the further the asteroid was from the Sun, the more slowly it sped up. This is a typical feature of comets, not asteroids. But Oumuamua doesn't look like a comet. Astrophysicist Avi Loeb believes that such an unusual trajectory as this one could be indicative of a solar sail-powered spacecraft. He believes that if Oumuamua was an extraterrestrial space probe, it might have left trackers behind to watch the Earth. After receiving donations from like-minded people, Avi Loeb launched something he named the Galileo Project. The project aims to observe our solar system and instantly alert scientists if any more outside objects enter it. The Galileo Project has tasked the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile as the first to begin work on this task. With its help, researchers will search for alien artifacts near to or approaching the Earth. The project will also attempt to obtain high-quality images of unidentified objects, helping scientists to better understand their nature. According to Avi Loeb, a one-meter telescope with a contemporary sensor can detect particles up to one millimeter in size at a distance of one kilometer. The Galileo project is also planning to use artificial intelligence to analyze the data of all existing survey telescopes. This will assist in the detection of extraterrestrial objects within Earth's orbit. But we can be watched not only from our solar system. In a recent study, astronomers determined points in space from which the Earth could be spotted. To detect a planet, you just have to observe its star. When the planet moves in its orbit and passes in front of its star, we notice a very slight eclipse, a change in the apparent brightness of the star. This is called a transit. Scientists have so far discovered 1,715 star systems where, over the past 5,000 years, extraterrestrial civilizations could have detected our planet. 46 of them are close enough to intercept radio signals from the Earth and figure out that there's life on it. In these star systems, there are 29 planets that are potentially habitable and from which we can theoretically be watched. Just imagine how many different extraterrestrial civilizations could become aware of the Earth. Maybe some of them have already started exploring space. And perhaps some have even learned to fly faster than the speed of light. 
or at least get around it somehow. And as long as we're conjecturing, one of them could even be a civilization of very smart, giant killer insects. Four out of seven of the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 solar system could intercept our radio transmissions, even though they're 45 light years from the Earth. But it'll take 1,500 years before the potential inhabitants of that system are able to see the transit of Earth in front of our Sun. And the inhabitants of the planet known as Ross 128b could have been watching the Earth for several millennia in the past. But 900 years ago, they lost their vantage point. However, either of the two planets that orbit Teagarden's star will be able to observe the Earth's orbit with our Sun as a giant, beautiful backdrop in just 30 years. This system is just 12 and a half light years away. If there's an extraterrestrial civilization there, we could exchange radio signals with them. Unless, of course, they want to come and really meet us in person, rather than just watching us for some other purpose. It seems that those star systems from which one can see the transit of Earth, or intercept our radio signals, are probably too far away for them to send their spaceships to us. But why then do we need a UFO alert system? In June 2021, the United States Congress reported on the so-called Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs. The term UFO seems to have fallen out of favor, having become the acronym that shall not be named by the U.S. government. He who must not be named. This nine-page report listed 143 incidents recorded since 2004 and which still remain unexplained. Of them, 21 UFO reports, forgive me, I meant to say UAP. Regardless, the objects in these reports demonstrated technological capabilities that could not be explained by the U.S. Department of Defense. This video shows a weird-shaped object flying against the wind. Another of the declassified records shows a UAP moving on an unusual trajectory and then zipping out of the shot. And here, an object dives into the water and comes up together with its twin. Of course, there's still far too little evidence available to state unequivocally that it's a UFO. All these phenomena and objects were detected by chance, mostly near military bases. But just imagine if we set out looking for them intentionally, how many more of these unidentified aerial phenomena would we discover? What if they really are spacecraft from extraterrestrial civilizations that have reached the Earth undetected? We don't at this point know the objectives of any of them. Some might just be observing and gathering information about life on Earth. Some could possibly be looking for resources needed for their extraterrestrial civilization. And some could even be preparing for an invasion, we just don't know. If we had an instantaneous alarm system watching over our solar system, then we would know for sure if these objects came from outer space. And then we might just understand what kind of danger, if any, they might pose to us. Yet just putting a protective bubble warning system around the Earth won't be enough. If an invasion comes, we likely won't know much of anything about it before it's too late. But that begs the question. Can we detect an alien invasion in advance? In addition to the Galileo project that will watch objects near the Earth and analyze data from different telescopes, there's also something called the Comet Interceptor Mission. The European Space Agency is planning a launch for the year 2028. The Comet Interceptor Mission is actually comprised of three different spacecraft. The composite spacecraft will travel to the L2 Lagrange point one and a half million kilometers from the Earth. It will detect comets passing through the solar system that haven't even been discovered yet and head off in their direction. Along the way, the three spacecraft will separate and approach such objects and send data collected from several vantage points back to scientists on Earth. If the comet interceptor craft detect an unidentified object, they could theoretically study it and get us the data long before the UFO approaches the Earth. But the launches of both the Galileo and Comet Interceptor are both at an early planning stage thus far. How can we detect unidentified objects right now? In short, we simply can't in most cases. 
At the moment, we can only detect near-Earth asteroids crossing our orbit. That's the mission of the Pan-STARRS telescope system, which discovered Oumuamua. There's also something called the Catalina Sky Survey and several other projects. Pan-STARRS can detect 99% of asteroids with diameters starting at 300 meters and up. And Catalina detects 90% of asteroids beginning at a diameter of 40 meters. If we're talking about small spacecraft, probes, or trackers that extraterrestrial civilizations could leave in orbit or send to Earth, we have no way of detecting them right now. But when we have a UFO in the Solar System Alert System, we might be able to decide who's allowed to visit the Earth and who gets deported. We could even establish a space customs office. Then all alien guests and spacecraft arriving on our planet would be inspected. This could help guard the Earth not only from alien invasion, but also, for example, from space-borne viruses and alien diseases. We'll likely have to make a list of all items prohibited from entering the Earth. So, write in the comments, would you like to work at such a customs office? And please do subscribe to the channel and make sure you press the bell icon so you are among the first to get notified of an alien invasion.